Your life. The Yanks have banter. And why? All because she used to be a he. Her name is now Mayanna Bagger, but she was raised as a boy. After years of confusion, frustration and gender reassignment, Mayanna finally became a woman. But as Jay Shadler reports, that's not good enough for the Americans. <laughs> All of these women are talented, professional golfers. All are free-swinging off the tee, stylish on the fairway, and proficient with their putters. But only one was once a man. This is me. I am who I am because of what I've been through. Here it is. Here's the story. Like it or lump it, I guess. <laughs> And unfortunately, some people still lump it. Surprisingly, the lumpets include America's own prestigious women's golf tour, the LPGA. But that part of the story will have to wait, because we begin in Spain, where the ladies' European tour has embraced the right of transsexuals to compete, or as Mayanna quickly corrected me, transsexual women. The fact of being referred to as a transsexual is really quite offensive because all of a sudden we're not a human being anymore. As you feel your arm now, you look at your arm now, does it feel substantially different than it did when you were a man? Well, Must sorry, I've never considered myself a man. I gotta get over this focus. People, sorry, I've, I've gotta... No, no, go ahead. Yeah, Tell it's, me. um, people think we were a man, now we're a woman. It's, uh -huh. I've never considered myself a man, ever. And just in case any of you men might still doubt her, she suggests you consider this. Okay, guys, you're talking about having your bits cut off, okay? <laughs> Just think about that for a sec, seriously. Yeah. Just realize that once it's off, that's it. You it's don't gone. get it back. This isn't a short-term thing. Yes, I'm aware of that. I Clearly, know. she's no shrinking violet, which is a good thing because she draws cameras and headlines wherever she goes. Something of a cross between a sports star and a supermodel all of which might tee off the egos of her fellow players if they didn't simply like her so much. Do you think of her as a woman? Yes, I do. I have womanly chats with her all the time. Oh, I said to myself, man, she's got great legs. I wish I had legs like that until I found out she was a man. Mayanna was born a male 38 years ago. She refuses to divulge her birth name, but early on she says she knew something was wrong. My earliest memories are from when I was six or seven years old. Six or seven? Yeah. What do you remember? Uh, well, you just know that you're different and you know, maybe a desire to just dress like other girls. When you know that it's wrong, boys don't do that. As he grew older, golf became a passion. This early photo shows him with fellow countryman and golf superstar Greg Norman. But if golf came naturally, his sexual identity was strictly a matter of trial and error. Mostly errors. I had a noisy, fast car for a while. Did you? Yeah. And um, that was what guys did, yeah. I guess. Did you at some point think that you were gay? Yeah, well, that went through my mind. It was nothing that was ever a serious issue for me. Right. But it was something, you know, I thought I had to try, so I did. Yeah. And I thought, yep, good, tried that. After 18 years of feeling trapped in a male's body, Mayanna embarked on a grueling 10-year odyssey of counseling, hormone replacement therapy, electrolysis, and eventually, in 1995, gender reassignment surgery, a three-hour operation which transforms the male genitalia into a female's. On the night before the surgery, was there any moment of reservation? Oh, hell no. No. No, that was, can't wait. This is finally, you know, that feeling of laying on the, the hospital bed, just going into surgery was like, my God, I can't believe this is finally about to happen. Slowly, Mayanna began to feel and look like the woman she had always imagined herself to be. I must say you look beautiful. You Thank look you. <laughs> you look really <laughs> fabulous. Thanks. You know, if we took the walk down this little promenade here along the, the coast of Spain, undoubtedly you'd get looks from guys. I mean, it's. You get you get a kick out of that? Girls do. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be admired, I guess. Sure. For the right reasons. Three years after her surgery, Mayanna returned to golf with a vengeance. In Australia, she won three state amateur titles. 
Then in 2004, she made history by becoming the first transsexual ever to play in a professional golf tournament, the Women's Australian Open. That was a very big thing for you, wasn't it? That was huge. This was the start of everything. That same year, the International Olympic Committee changed its rules to permit transgender athletes to compete in the Olympics. And the ladies' European tour soon followed suit. But... I can't play the US tour at the moment. Uh, the rules uh, don't allow me to play. That's because the Ladies Professional Golf Association in America, the LPGA, has something called the Female at Birth Rule, which naturally disqualifies a transsexual like Miana. The tour's outgoing commissioner is Ty Votaw. You met with Miana? I've met her, yes. Strike you as a full-fledged woman? Certainly, uh, I thought that she, I was talking to a, to a woman. But according to Votaw, the LPGA's female at birth rule was born from the notion that transsexuals... It would create an unfair effect on the competition, which is one of the reasons why we don't allow men to play on the LPGA tour. Yeah, sweet. There you go. I read somewhere where that you actually now have less testosterone in your body than a lot of women. Yeah, the physical changes are that you lose you know, muscle mass and testosterone, you lose overall strength. I wouldn't be out here playing if I felt I, have an un I had an unfair advantage. Of course, the specter of an unfair advantage is precisely why the LPGA came up with its female at birth rule, though most of the players we talk to now seem in favor of opening the tour to transsexual women. Well, I think the tour in general, if the research showed that th there was reason to change the rule, would be more than willing to change the rule. Would you mind playing with the transgender individual? Yeah, if you can play, come out and bring it. It really doesn't matter to me. As long as you have a love for the game, I, I can respect that. If those opinions don't surprise you, this one might. I think the LPGA may be uh, smart in holding to their ideas about this. You did? Dr. Rene Richards, now 70 years old and still a practicing ophthalmologist, was a sexual pioneer when Miana Bagger was still a young boy. It was the summer of 1976 when Howard Cosell introduced her to the world. Today on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the biggest in sports in the entire nation. It was a riveting story. Renee Richards, a transsexual woman, won the legal right to compete in the U.S. Open and on the women's tennis circuit. Before her surgery, she was Richard Raskin, a formidable male player. At that time, I felt that uh, it was my right to be allowed to play as a woman. Maybe it was too much for me to ask. Maybe I shouldn't have been allowed the same rights and privileges that a natural-born woman had. That's because Richards believes, despite scientific evidence to the contrary, that a genuine physical advantage could remain after transgender surgery. I will tell you that if Tiger Woods were a true transsexual, had the operation, he would still be too much of a power for the women on the LPGA. Even so, Dr. Richards understands, in a way few of us can, just how Miana might feel. Well, there are a lot of similarities. She's not a original. She's a fax like me. She's a fax. Yeah, she's a facsimile. We're the, the best women that we can be, but we're imperfect women. You know, in this society, yeah. you've either got to be man or woman, male or female, and I'm certainly not male, um, so I'm a woman. Um, you know, I just have to keep working on it. I mean, I to be financially to be... successful here on the tour requires a number of things. First, you need to win, or at least place consistently in the top ten. And second, you need a sponsor. Miana doesn't have one. You're still very much struggling getting sponsors. Yeah. Why do you think? The corporate world really seems to be very conservative. Last year, I was the third most talked about female golf in the world, after Annika Sorenstam and Michelle Wee. Of course, Annika and Michelle, who is still an amateur, have also been sinking a lot more putts than Miana. Like a lot of pro players in their rookie year, Miana's scores this summer have been less than stellar. But on the last day we followed her at the Spanish Open, she staged a powerful comeback, sinking this tough birdie putt on the 18th hole for a three under par 67.
I was just telling myself, there's just no way I'm going to miss this. And I'm sure I talked the ball into the hole. <laughs> How do you know you can do that, actually? Oh, you can. Absolutely. In the end, golfers will tell you that the old game is a lot like life. Filled with traps and plenty of rough. But the survivors somehow navigate the unfair ways and find the green. Or sometimes, something even better. Have you ever been in love? No. No, I haven't, really. Well, that's an experience that's waiting out there on the horizon, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, um... I don't know, that, that's... It's, a, it's an awkward topic, it's a difficult topic. You know, it saddens me. Yeah. That... That I haven't had, you know, such a nice relationship or been in love. Um... So I'm yeah. hoping that's to come, you know. It's something that happens when the time's right.